this is the Dynasty TCG with uh, some uh, starting out artwork. It's, it's sample artwork. Um, and today I'm going to learn how to play it. And I've got the people from uh, some of the people from Dynasty here to teach me how to play it. You start your hand off by bringing six cards. Six cards. Okay, so I shuffled up my deck, and I'm going to pull six cards into my hand, and here they are. Yep. So we've got Forgotten nice. Ronin, uh, Shield of Light, Intimidate, uh, Maiden in the Mist, I Icarus Foot Soldier, and Bravery. And then on this, oh, you're going to get the other hand. As yep, well. I will jump to the other player, so now we're on player two. Yep. We're going to draw, we'll shuffle him up, or her. Draw six cards, and here we've got a wall. We've got Jian uh, Ji, the archer, Blue Moon Imperial Archer, Equipment Finder, Last One Standing, and Fresh Recruits. And both the players can mulligan. So okay. whatever cards you don't want, you can mulligan into the deck and draw the same amount. If okay. the first player does and the second player doesn't, then the second gets to draw an extra card. But if both people mulligan, then both people don't get the extra draw. And it's only one mulligan, or can they mulligan two or three or four times, just the one time? Just once, just the okay. one time. We'll say player one gets the first first turn. Both players start with 50 health points, and okay. you lose by reducing the other player to zero. Kind of the way well, this game ramps right? up is it evolves from what I would describe as minor skirmishes with just a few units. Um, so you're going to be kind of deploying, and then you're going to be using the treat mechanic. It's really cool, kind of unique to this game. So you can deploy units to one zone, make your attacks, make your attacks. move swiftly, and then you immediately retreat those units. While you will leave yourself open to an attack, that's the drawback. Mm -hmm. However, those units are able to deal damage to either your opponent or their units, and then come back into your, ta your hand, and you're able to use them again later. So you have different kinds of units here so you can tell um, its category based in that symbol in the top right corner um, Hinchy, do you want to explain those different types of units yes so the the units that you have in your hand. so Ikari's foot soldier right there with that slightly longer arrow he's a ranged melee unit meaning that he's got a range of two squares in front of him so he can choose me. and target any card uh, one or two spaces in front of him Okay. Whereas um, the other two unit cards, the, the Ronin and the Maiden, they are merely just me melee units, so they can only attack the people directly in front. The board is set up in that way, I guess, to explain to people too, right? Like yes. You, you fight in these uh, units across from each other. Lanes. Lanes, thank you. Yes. These lanes, okay. All right. So that's pretty straight. Is there another type, or is it just these two, just melee and, and uh, uh, range? Well... When we get to my my side of things, I can explain. Well, Perfect. I might as well have explained. Yeah. I can um, jump there are there. mobile units. Uh, so over here we have... Well, I've only got archers, but archers have a range of... If you were in the middle, uh, in the middle lane, you can attack on the left or on the right ah, lane here here. of your opponent. Yeah. Okay. And in the middle one. So he can choose... But obviously the attacks are once per turn, so once per turn you can attack in one okay. of those three lanes. Each lane is limited to one attack per turn. Each lane, okay. All right, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. And then we have the the, the mobile units. Yeah. So cavalry can go from... They can go anywhere in the, in the lane that they're in. So anywhere that they are, they can reach. So even from a yeah. retreat zone, they can reach all the way to the other end, or no? How does that work? Yes, because they have horses, so they can go very yep. quickly. So they Again, the logic's there, so it makes sense, yeah. <laughs> so, we're going to deploy the Forgotten Ronin, and you can kind of choose where you want to uh, set him. Now, so can it go anywhere him to the on front the grid, line. or only the front line? Yeah, he can go anywhere. Anywhere. So even in the retreat zone, they can go, or no? When I drop them for Correct. the first time. Correct. And so he oh, would so move forward. Oh, go ahead, Hinchy. You got it. Um, I was going to say, Jeff, so the retreat zone is a completely different like square that you put the troops in, so that back row is called... So you have the back line, mid line. Oh, line. I'm sorry. I misunderstood. Yeah. I thought this was okay. So you have three rows no, of yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Line, All right. Mid line and back line. I misunderstood. I thought that yeah. this was the entire retreat zone. So retreat zone is there. So I can yeah. throw them anywhere in this field I want. So I can, yeah, anywhere. That's the whole there. battlefield. 
the three by five is the I whole see. battle. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So no, that would cost me four resources, just, correct? Correct. Yes. So you you would take those four counters off, and then you just however many. Yeah. So I've got six more now, which technically means I could play both of these, correct? You could. If you, if you wanted you that, yeah. you would have no resources remaining. So I always try, just personally, to try to hold a couple. Okay. So just so you can either retreat or play an order on your opponent's turn as needed. Um, just so I'm not completely uh, spent, in a sense. So um, uh, Ideally, yes, you're right. The goal is to spend as much as you can each turn to get the maximum return out. Um, but because you are able to make moves on your opponent's turn, if you have the resources, um, there is purpose to holding some of those. But I cannot play a character, right? I can't play a, a, a soldier on my opponent's turn. It's only the orders I can do on my opponent's turn. Is that correct? So you can order and retreat. Order and retreat. And yep. what does a retreat cost? Is it the same as the payment cost of them? Yes, sir. Okay, so I would have to pay four to retreat my Ronin. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. But so then would... he would be untouchable in the field. Because he would retreat to the zone over here. Correct. Yeah. I see. All right, now I understand it. Okay. That makes sense. That's I would so also play Maiden in the Mist um, somewhere in the back line. Sure. And I would give plus one health to the Forgotten Ronin. She was three, so I can get rid of these three. And that's her little ability is she gives yeah. plus one health. Uh, he's a 2-5, so he becomes a 3-6. Is that correct? No, she yep. just gives one health. One health. So one health. So I'm going to change that to a 6 and put that on the health counter there. Uh, so now we still and have 3 up, which means we cannot retreat our Ronin, but we could retreat our Maiden, should we need to. That's correct. correct. But we could also play either of these units here. Or either of these orders, I should say. That's right. Yes. Forcing an enemy soldier to retreat. Um... Yeah. Like other games, are we summoning sick? Like, are we not able to attack first turn when we're played, or can the soldiers attack immediately when they're deployed? You cannot attack on turn one okay. if you deploy first. Okay, but, player but there is two no could summoning sickness necessarily. All right, that sounds yeah. good. Okay, just yeah. very first turn you cannot attack, which makes sense. So you can't yeah. overwhelm them by a lucky hand draw that that they get you yeah. to just barrel roll over them. All right, so I'll switch to player two then. Oh, okay, so this hand... Go inside the mind uh, of Inchi. Yeah, so what I see is I have two really strong hands. Uh, personally, I would go for... Uh, I would play a wall first. I would put a wall uh, on my front line on the second lane. Right here? Right there. Okay, yep. and that costs me that, three. That's just because... Yeah. So the wall would take the damage that the Ronin would... If the Ronin were to attack me directly, it would be stopped by the wall, and the wall would take that damage. I'll also play the uh, Archer, the Imperial Archer. I just grab the one with the bow and arrow on it. <laughs> uh, yeah, to which and location? I'll put him right in the middle. Right here. Just so I can maximize my sort of range sure. on both sides. And um, this is where we would play the no troops can be attacked sort of deal. Yes. Sure. So if you swap back over to uh, yep. Stois, Stois's hand, he would play... This one, uh, correct, yeah. She no true. Play. And that goes to the order zone. Cost yep. three. Okay. So I wouldn't be able to attack him, his troops. Oh, I see. It's no what attacking, I would... not no damage, so you have to play that before attacking is declared, I would assume. Because if he said yes. I'm attacking, you would have to say, well, before you go to attacks, I'm doing this sort of action. Yeah. Okay. Actually, in that sense as well, what we have changed is that I must declare the attack first, and then Stoice gets the choice to respond. So he can, in that period, he can then play an order card, and then let's say he wants to move his troop, he moves his troop over to the, the right or something. But my attack will still go through into that zone, but if there's nothing in that zone, then that doesn't play. I see. Okay. So if we swap back over to me, mm -hmm. what I can do now, um, I can attack Stoice directly because my archer has that sort of lane on his right to attack with as well. This one and over because here, it's so. an open lane, yep. correct, I would be able to attack him directly so due to my three attacks to Stoice and reduce his health oh. to 47. 
So as long as there's an open lane, you can well, an open lane that you have access to attack through, you can attack directly. You don't have to yes. clear a board before you can or whatever. That's brilliant. Okay, I like Correct. that. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Okay. All right. And, and I will end my turn. You'll end your turn. Perfect. Like if uh, so we were supposed to draw, yes. Okay, so I'm gonna yes, draw we one were. card to your hand there then. <laughs> yeah. All right. So there's one extra oh, card that we forgot about. <laughs> yeah, I had something different. So we're gonna draw yeah. one here now that we switch back to player one. This is uh, yes. this is the bane of my uh, card playing. Aside from uh, just being a lousy um, TCG player in general, I always forget to draw. And Hinchy, uh, does player one also draw on his first turn? No, player one does not draw on okay. his first turn. Okay. We yeah, would this move is the, new the Forgotten Ronin diagonal up one to the left so that it is over the the Maiden in the Mist. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. sorry. Yeah, over there. Okay, I had it right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, um, okay. Move the dice there. Let me move that back to six. There we go. Okay. Uh, we would deploy the Akari Foot Soldier to the mid line of the mid lane. Right there? No. I know what he's doing. I know what he's doing. Okay. Um... We would use the Maiden in the Mist's ability to give Akari's Foot Soldier one more health. Oh, that can happen every turn. Oh. Each turn. Yep. Each turn. Oh, to give the Akari... Uh, sorry, which one again? You want to give it to the Foot Soldier? Yes, sir. Okay. So switch that to a four. Okay, so we're going to do um, Bravery Okay. on Maiden on in the Mist. And that's a plus one strength and health. Okay. So I'll pull this out here. And that brings her up to a 2-3. And two, something unique three. to Dynasty, what we're going to do is a united attack with all three of those units. Okay. So their strengths their all strength combined. combined. Ooh, okay. So that's 4-6. And oh. so that united attack would be led by our most front unit, so the Forgotten Ronin. Mm -hmm. And he's going to walk down that lane until he hits an opponent, which would be Henchy's archer. Oh, he physically moves down the lane, like this. Uh, in theory. In theory. Okay, so I don't actually move. Right. The theory card. walking. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, you don't need to move the card. You just. All right. Good. <laughs> yeah. So he's leading yeah. the attack. So he's leading the attack, coming in for what do we say? Two, four, uh, six. Six. Okay. So the five damage is taken by the archer, and, and the which... remaining one okay. would go to Henchy. Would go to Henchy. Yep. Uh, now, do we switch back to and see if maybe we drew a card that helps us block that or defend that? Yeah, or? do you want to see there? Yes. Yeah, so um, <laughs> Stoich has just declared his attack, so I'm going to see what cards I have to, to do stuff. What I could do is play last one standing, reduce mm -hmm. my archer, and reduce the Ronin to one. And by doing that, when he attacks me, I destroy the Ronin in battle. Okay. So would I think I'm going to go ahead. Through? But you would get, eliminate yes, the Ronin. The so, okay. Uh, yeah. I can see that. So we're going to play last so one So I'll play last one standing. Yep. Okay. Using our last okay, three so... resources. Yep. Do we want to flip And the Ronin back? would be one health. Let's flip back and see if there was anything here. Yeah. So the Ronin dies because it's at one health and you're Yes, the attack. Ronin. So he yep. would take deal one damage to the archer and the remaining five would go to Hinchy. Okay, so this one dies as well, and you've taken five damage now, so yep. you're at 45, and both of those two died. And nothing happens to these because they weren't part of the, they, they were just supporting the attack, not not actually fronting the attack. Yes. Okay, so we will flip back over, and we'll draw a card this time and not forget. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I will play Grand Prosperity. Reduces uh, two Gain resources. two resources. Wow, okay. So um, got ten, and uh, then I will play. Oh damn it! I did it in the wrong order. Okay, uh, uh, doesn't matter. I will play intelligence. Then. So now you're gonna get six cards, yeah. right? Because you've revealed three, so you grab yeah. another three. We'll grab another three. Play my uh, recruiter uh -huh. right in the middle. Okay. Uh, he will be in the front line. I want the front to line. Front sorry. Line. Sure. And then his ability allows me to search out a uh, blue. And we look for a blue moon and unit. The Imperial Archer. The, this one, the first yes. one? Perfect. So we're going right to pull there. That out. Yes, correct. And that goes into the field or into my hand? Uh, into the hand. Deploy the Archer behind my wall. Behind your wall, okay. Archers can fire over yeah. walls, I'm assuming? Or yes. Okay. Because of the range. So yeah. the, 
the the building is sort of classified as a troop, but it's not really a troop. And then I will use three of my attacks to hit the maiden with my archer. My archer will attack. Oh, your the archer. Maiden. Sorry, yeah, your archer may attack three yeah. times and can attack the maiden because it's an archer. It can attack that far back and anywhere basically. Yes. So three attacks will yes. kill the maiden because the maiden only has three health. Correct. Yep. All right. Um, and then well, when you play your archer, can I still do my retreat an enemy unit? Oh yes, you can. If okay, you so want to, yeah. to here. So when I uh, declare the attack, mm -hmm. um, you have your opportunity to to so play you can a card. Now. Okay. Which costs three. And then. And you'll force this unit. Or sorry, the archer to retreat. Is that the idea? Yeah, yeah. So it goes to the retreat zone. Over here. Now I have to wait two draw phases before the archer goes back into my hand. Two draw phases. Oh, oh two, two yes. of your draw phases or just two draw phases in general? Two of mine. Um, what I'm going to do now is just move my recruiter diagonal left to behind the oh, wall. Oh, diagonal left behind the wall. Okay. Um, for movements, are you limited to only moving one space at a time um, in any direction? or yes. what? Okay. So only one space per turn. Does that exhaust them so they cannot attack now? Or no, that's, that's irrelevant. They can move one space and then attack. How does that work? So they can move once and attack. So in any order. Okay. So they could even attack and then move back a space or attack and move right or yeah. left. Should so they it, survive yeah. the retaliation damage or uh, combat as a whole? Yes. Okay. So we will move back. Start with a draw. So we drew uh, an intelligent seller. Reveal okay, your hand and so draw cards equal to your hand. So you would draw we'll one. Hold off on that. <laughs> My maiden is going to give... Plus one health to herself. To herself, okay. So that three becomes a four. So what my units will do, my foot soldier is going to move one space to his right along with the maiden. Okay. Oh, one question I should have asked before too. When you had all three in a row to combine their attack, does that only work when you have all three in a row? Or can you do it when there's only two in a row? Can you do it if You can a unite gap? with this view as two. This view as two. But they have to be back to back. So like these two would have to be back to back in the front yes. row? Okay. So they will do a united attack mm -hmm. straight up, and that's going to hit the wall. So sure. it should destroy the wall and deal one to you. Now, could you also shoot over the wall or no? Because you're a nurture. Yes. Uh, no, he, so if Stoys if I was, was one space closer. Yeah. Yes. He would be and I realized that over. after I had moved, but I already committed to that move. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The wall's dead. It uh, goes over here. and. Mm -hmm. And she takes one damage. And so, what we're going to do successful. now is um, retreat both units. Okay, so which one? Oh. Three, six. So we pay six uh. of these out. Yeah. And now, do they lose all of their bonuses? They will. Gone? Okay, so that all resets. All right, that makes sense. That is my turn. All right, let's flip back over. Uh, oh, we'll draw a card. Okay. How about the draw? Yep. So you pulled a nice. blue moon medic. Okay. Um, so my thought process right now is empty field. I want to hit him hard and hit fast. Okay. So I'm gonna uh, play uh, deploy my uh, Shen. So my okay. other archer, seven, my champion. I'll put him right in the middle. Sure. Yep. Uh, and then I will support him with a veteran A. Okay. That goes there. And then Shen now gets uh, plus one uh, on health and attack. Oh, beautiful. Okay. So he's supporting him. So uh, not only does he get the plus one from that, but the plus one from Veteran Hay himself. So uh, this is a three. It got a plus one from Veteran Hay's ability. Grant one strength and one health to the unit uh, Hay is supporting, plus the one from Hay itself. So it's a three. Plus one plus one becomes a five, and then it attacks twice. May attack twice, so it becomes ten. Well, united attack, uh, they just do the one. Oh. If he's attacking twice with the archer, it'd be four and four. I see. Okay. So he has to. Yeah, there's yes. got to choose there. Yeah. Okay, so that that That's ability the gets point. Ah, oh, okay, interesting. Yeah. So in theory, like, if if the archers followed the foot soldiers, then that would work in a way but in this sense no in this situation if i want to unite with my uh my shen mm -hmm. 
then he would be limited to that one singular United attack. I see. Okay. And okay, then, so it's not actually because he can... Okay. Yeah. So, so you know how we can only attack um, once in the lane. Mm -hmm. So Shen's ability allows him to um, attack twice in the lane. So that breaks the rule. But he can only unite once with Hei, because Hei can only attack once and unite once. I see. Yeah. So, so I okay. could... What I could do is unite with Hei to deal 5 damage, and then attack once more individually for 4 damage. I follow. Okay. And it yeah. would still do 4, not 3 damage, right? Because it's still picking up the yes. gaining 1 strength. Correct. To the unity support. Yes. So supporting is just being behind. I follow. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. So yeah. let's knock this down by And nine. then I will also attack with my recruiter who does one damage. So 10 is. So it's all. 10. Okay. Good. That makes my mind. We did get easy. to 10. We, just, we did we get just to 10. Yeah. Just the long way around. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we cleaned it up. That makes sense. We're good. Okay. Yeah. So you know what? Actually, I, I must admit that, that um, that's knocking the life down a lot faster than I thought it would. When I was seeing these strengths of one and three, I'm going, this game's going to last yeah. for two hours, but clearly no. it doesn't. I so would a equipment finder. Equipment finder. Search, search for a... Yeah. Sure. I want to search for a simple shield. So yeah. we pull that to our hand, correct? Correct, and then we'll shuffle. I'm also going to now move my archer diagonal left. Uh, this archer diagonal left down. like this? Oh, down. Uh, down. Yes, to and the front line. And then I'm going to move my... <laughs> no, I'm going to send my... Um, my ho... Oh, wait, no. Uh, Blue Moon Recruiter up one. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to move my hay diagonal up left. So you've created a, a, a another massive attack line sort of thing. And I end my turn, yes. All right, let's jump back over to player one side, draw a card. Pew, pew! Hope for something, and it's more. Uh, it's more orders. No worries, and we are gonna pass our turn right back. Yeah, because you have to wait one more turn to deploy from your your um, a retreat area, right? Yeah, Just they'll come back to my area. hand. Next turn, they come back to your hand, correct? Oh, right, correct. they come back to your hand. I'm sorry, and we'll draw a card. Oops. There we go. And it's a champion's mm -hmm. might increase the strength of a unit by one. Oh wow! So that's. Okay. It's going to be a big attack if you just go ahead and attack. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is move my, my archer back into diagonal upright. Upright, yeah. There you and go. then I'm, go. I'm going to move my hay diagonal like right this. down. Yep. Yep. And then I'm going to play keen recruits. Uh, fresh recruits, sorry. Fresh recruits. Okay, there it is. Fresh recruits. Okay. Play from the deck yep. to the field. Play... Play from the deck to the field up to four units costing two resources. Okay, so we play that. Costs us eight. Yeah. Very expensive, but we do get a lot out of it. So we jump into our deck here. Wow, yeah, that turned into a big battlefield. <laughs> right, so yeah. it scales up. So what's going to happen now is I'm going to unite the the second line mm -hmm. to deal two, three, four damage. Four damage, okay. Yeah, because yeah, Hayes buff goes to the recruit, but it still moves through either yeah. way. Yeah. So you're down to 33, okay. And then I will attack... Uh, I'll do the united attack with my archer and then do an individual attack. Five and then four. Five and then four. Five and four, yeah. So nine again, okay. Down to 24. Wow, this does move fast. Once it gets going, it moves fast. Uh, yeah. And then I'm assuming you're attacking then, with these as well? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so then that will do three damage. <laughs> okay. All right. And then. I will retreat a veteran hay, and I'm pretty sure that archer goes back into my hand. This one goes back into your hand. Yep, this is your second thing. Yeah. And does which hay do you want to bring back? Uh, I would like to the one right behind. Oh, I should know the one right behind the keen recruit. This one here. Uh, the one on the fourth four? line. Okay. 
lane okay. four. And, that and then I'm going to move my recruit over to the left. Ah, to defend and protect your archer. So let's flip back over here. These right. two cards come back to hand. Okay, so you drew a, an equipment finder, and then you've got okay. your two soldiers back. Uh, so I'll play the intelligence seller. So I reveal my hand and draw cards equal to it. Sure. We we'll drop that there. Cost us four. And then we get to draw five. 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 Is there any hand limit? No. I ask that now that we have so many in our hand. Okay. <laughs> so you got some light cavalry. Pride for peace. Increase the health of all units you control by one. Uh, Jinso's Blades of Fury. Deal two damage to all troops in the front row of Jinso. If no troops, direct damage can be applied. Another light cavalry. Champion's Might. Increase the strength of unit by one. And Equipment Finder. Okay, so we're going to play Akari's Foot Soldier. So we're going to deploy him to the middle for the three resources. Mm -hmm. So we got three resources gone. He's going to attack the Keen Recruit and the front midline. Sure. Which would kill him. Okay. Now, there, yep. is there lasting? There's no lasting damage between turns, right? Like, they, they wouldn't. I don't need to keep track of anything on the Foot Soldier. He doesn't go down to two or something. He's, he's just back to normal health after the attack? He, he would does go damage. down. Yeah. Okay. Because there's nothing in front of him to block or cover. He would take one, but you don't have to do that. I'm going to use uh, another three resources to retreat him. Oh, well then. Retreat and three resources. Ah, uh, hit and run. Okay. So your new draw is uh, a my hand. cavalry. I will play the cavalry sure. and then... Let uh, everyone attack. Uh, on the fourth. Oh, the fourth. Uh, okay. No, fifth, fifth. Fifth lane, right at the back. Right at the back. Wow, I know nothing. I've learned nothing so far, apparently. <laughs> the cavalry yes. units are really, really cool. We just haven't seen them much yet this game. Okay. Yeah. That, that's why I'll, I'll, I will... I'll go with that. <laughs> I'll attack with the the second lane to the do lane. Uh, four damage. Four? Yeah, four damage. Yeah, okay, because that... Just to walk me through it, so this one is one, so, uh, this one is one, yes. but got supported by the one behind it, so it's three total now, plus the one of this one in itself, which is four. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So See? we come in for four. We're hardly one game in, and you're getting it. Uh, I will also, uh, I'll, I'll leave it this time. I'll leave the rest of the troops. I'll give them the rest. Oh, okay. Oh. Anything else yeah, to play from doing... the hand then, or take a, or, or end turn? Um, I can see what I can do. You Actually, don't want to throw yeah. more targets out there for me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll put a shield on my uh, archer. On um, this archer Which one? I'll put, oh. Yeah. And the shield is increased so the health of the You place it one. right under. Oh, I yes. see, okay. So you'll place it right under him. There we go, and I yeah. will put a die on there just so that I remember it. You'll end your turn, okay. Because right. this way, uh, uh, Stoice can play his card. So okay. He just drew a samurai father. <laughs> I like that uh, flavor text. Work hard, son. <laughs> I, I'm sure this, by the sounds of it, this will appeal to many, many, many TCG players whose fathers say, why are you playing that stupid card game? Just work harder. <laughs> but I digress. <laughs> Go ahead and play. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what would you like to do? I'm going to deploy a light cavalry to my midline and to my fourth line at the very back. At the very back here? Okay. Yeah, so my yeah, midline and my fourth line. Oh, So oh, that would be them, two resources it. each. Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, to okay. the left and then uh, at the back. So midline ba at the back. So the one so in mid lane at the back? Okay. And yeah, then the fourth right lane at the back. I see. I'm sorry. Okay. Now I understand. Yeah, you're good. And okay. then those two units are going to attack and because cavalry can attack throughout the entire lane mm -hmm. i'm going to use my midline and attack his veteran hay in the back oh okay i will play my uh intimidate card for one of them let's flip back here then i forgot you had that card yeah retreat an enemy unit okay so we'll play oh uh yep you have enough resources yes you do so we'll play that yes i will retreat the cavalry in the midline. 
this one here. In the in the mid lane, yeah. In the mid lane. Okay. So okay. I'm get retreated. Yep. All right. Flip back. But and the other one will go through. Okay. And then since that was my first attack, theoretically, could I move him to the mid line and then do the same action? Oh. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. Because troops can only attack once per time. I was going to say so. That's a very smart move. No, you're right, though, because technically I had declared an attack from my mid lane in addition to that. Yeah. So yeah. you're right. You're right. Oh, so you okay, can't so move my... it over an attack from the same lane. Right. It, yeah. So one it attack could move per over lane. Not attack. Which makes sense because if you demolished a lane and then moved over your big guy, you're just going to hit him in the face and you don't want to allow that because you would just yeah. demolish mm -hmm. them that way. Okay, that does make sense. Okay, so then this light cavalry will then attack Veteran Hay in sure. your call and that back line. Yeah. So that and then that will go dead. through. Okay. Yeah. And that was two and this was two, so nothing goes through to actually hit you, but it does kill yeah. that one. Does Hay, does Hay hit the cavalry as well? Yeah, he would hit him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I've, I've got... Oh, yeah. Uh, you've got uh, six resources left. Um, uh, let me take another peek at my hand here. Sure. I'm glad buttheads is two separate words. Just because yes. that could be one <laughs> word and be somewhat humorous. <laughs> uh, you're going to have your... Sorry, your light cavalry. You'll move to the right one. Ah, okay. Yep. And then we're going to... Um, I think I gotta throw up something. Yeah. So we're gonna play Samurai Father just mm -hmm. in front of him. Okay. We will play Pride for Peace, and we'll give plus one health to each of those guys. All right. Pride for Peace. He took one from that recruit when he attacked him, though. So he's just he's still back down to three. Back down to three. Okay. Now Hinchy. This lane can move and attack. My samurai father can, yes? Your samurai father, correct. But he wouldn't be able to unite. Right, because the cavalry's already yeah. made an attack. Okay, just clarify. Right. Yeah. So everybody knows yeah. we can't do that. Alright, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, so he will just, I guess, attack you for two. Down to 42. And that will be my turn. In my draw, and then I would get my hay back. Oh, yeah. That comes back to hand. So what I'm gonna do is play uh, Hay. Mm -hmm. Just Jeff, you can place it anywhere. Oh, actually, no, no, don't place it anywhere. It's very specific. I was gonna go say, here, I think I, think right? I counted. Place... I think you can end me this turn. <laughs> yeah. Um. What? Well, okay, I'm gonna do something kind of like quote funky. So sure. if you place Veteran Hay in front of my um, archer. In front of your archer, okay. Yeah. Yep. And then if you move my recruiter one to the left. Uh, your recruiter, this one. Yep, one to the yes. left. Yep. Yeah. And then you move my recruit one up. Uh huh. Um, what I'm going to do is very controversial. Um, I'm going <laughs> to attack both of those troops in front of me. So I'm going to attack Veteran Hay and Keen Recruit to destroy both of them. You're going to attack these two? Your own troops? Yep. I'm going to attack my own troops to destroy both of them. With the, Friendly with fire the is fire. a thing. I did not yes. know that. And that's supported by this hay, which yes. gives it the four attack to be able to kill yeah. them both, correct? Okay. Yep. So I will be taking four damage. And then you will also take four damage. So we're going to kill these two. Mm -hmm. You will take four damage. Okay. Just think of all the possibilities, different <laughs> things that would hurt each other. And now, placements. And now, what you can do is level up my champion into a battle champion, because he's destroyed two units in the same. Oh, battle. this one. If you read Sorry. the, so it's his yeah, like level effect. up effect. Yeah. Level up destroy. It's two really units cool. In the same battle. So what does the level up do now? So now. So now, if you go into the deck. Mm-hmm. So you, 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 you walk Jeff through what's Alright, so when your champion hits his level up ability, mm -hmm. you get to either play it from your hand or search your deck for the elite version, or what's the proper term, Henchy, do we have for it? Battle champion. The battle champion version battle. of this hero. Oh, is that this one? Correct. Yeah. <laughs> what are the chances I landed right so on? So you just... Okay. You then. just place him directly in uh, on top of the Shen. So oh, he goes directly so, on top. 
Yeah. It's, like, it's uh, distinguishable there with the same champion symbol and then his little up arrow uh, just below that image there. Or ah, the, the little uh, uh, pentagram, not pentagon. Not yeah. pentagram. Almost like oh. a house. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. I can see that. All right. So it, it, it yeah, grows so basically into this. Yes. Like an evolution. Yeah. In, okay. yeah, yeah. Essentially. Yeah. Um, and does it, and it what, wipes out any health counter or anything like that on it? Like all that gets reset? Is that how that works? Or. Uh, yeah, so it's it's so the base is now six eight, but it also gets the buff. The buff from, from this one here because so A is now support. yeah. So that is where this D eight does not work. <laughs> so I'll yeah. just put that beside it so we know it's nine we'll, total. We'll just remember it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that works. That's yeah, fine. we'll remember. Sure. Yeah. And the plus one. Um, so I still have ten resources, so I will play um another cavalry. Another cavalry, sure. Uh, in in front of my cavalry. In front of your cavalry, okay, so they can support each other then. Yep. No, my flank. Yep. And then, oh, damn it. Okay, I'm gonna move both the cavalries up one. Up one each, okay. And then I'm gonna play UA right behind the cavalry. Okay. And so his ability says heal one health to the unit UA is supporting at the end of each battle. It is in. So yes. will that go above their health or only heal up to four? That up will heal two. up to. Okay, because it's heal, not increase by. All right, that makes sense. Yeah, no, right. not increase or gain. Yeah. So um, I'm gonna unite my my fifth lane mm -hmm. and deal that damage. So two, four, five. five, down to twelve, and then that's all I can do for this turn. You can't attack with the. Uh... Zhangji? No, because he is because his character is the same. Yeah, so it's oh, the same you're person. Really it might... Yes. Yeah. All right. Yep, yeah. that does make sense. Okay. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure last turn I could have won, but I I just wanted to show the people that hey, you can have a race if you yeah. Can. Yep. All right, so we'll go ahead and play search for an equipment so we can see a couple different things in here. Um, and I'll search for a simple sword. We'll have Akari's foot soldier go to the front line of the mid lane. We'll give him a simple sword. You have yeah. increased the strength of the unit by one. Yep. Okay, so we oh, will. Yeah, that's the only one. We'll use that, put it on uh, Light Cavalry. Light Cavalry, okay. Yeah, so the Light Cavalry will attack the Blue Moon Recruiter. For three and kill it, yep. Yeah, say and he'll take one as return damage. Mm -hmm. uh, my Samurai Father will shuffle to the left one and attack you yeah. straight for two. Down to 36, yeah. And then um, Akari's foot soldier will shoot um, your. Let's see, who is he going to shoot? Oh, I can't reach your back line with him, right? He only has the range of two, correct? Okay, yeah, so he's just going to shoot and take that. So he'll hit you for three, and then he'll take that three in excess. So because he has that six damage, I still have to eat that health on my turn, too. So, so the three damage the kills my foot soldier, okay. and the remainder three goes to my life. And the remainder three goes to your life. And then this right. one here and takes the three damage, correct? So it's down to correct. five. Oh, it's got die beside it already. Oh, wait, no, it was at nine. Sorry. Down to six now. Yeah. Six. And then I'll pass it to yeah. Henji and let him wrap this one up here. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So we'll I'm do so a glad we got to see a ton of the mechanics in this one. Uh, we'll play Gift to the Emperor. Okay, opponent gains three resources next turn, and you get to draw two cards. All right, because you know there will be no next tur next turn, so you draw two cards. That cost four, so I'm going to put some of these back now. Uh, yeah. So you have six resources left. You grab a day of peace uh, and a gift to the emperor again. <laughs> I'll do gift to the emperor again. Another pot of greed. Just kidding. Yeah. It costs resources, and you have to give your opponent resources. So that's four, and we draw two. You looking for another up. champion? 
and a Wukong's. No, mind. I wouldn't be able to play. Um, I know. I was just thinking we yeah. might see him. Yeah. Um. Let's see. I will go for a attack with my cavalry line. So my cavalry fifth lane, line. I'll unite to do five damage. Yep. Direct to him. And then I will move. Yes, direct to Stoyce. So it's down to four. And then I will move my archer and hay over to the right. Just like that. Yep, and I will end my turn. That oh, so he's, now got, he's now got 16. 16 uh, resources to work with. Oh boy. Damn, okay. This comes back Very to Very low now. chance of that really so happening, one. but it could. It just did. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> So you've got 16, okay. so you can play everything from hand. Um, this is Stoyce's my Samurai's father time. will move to the middle. Mm -hmm. uh, my light cavalry will move to the left one. Okay, let's see here. Okay, so we're going to play Chef Hanzo on my far left side in the midline. In the midline? Um, we're up. going to. He gives me plus one health per turn. Gives you plus so one. Can, so you're up to yeah. five. Yeah. Okay. That's going to make a difference. That one. And then know. we're going to play um, Maiden in the mist in the back. Behind him or behind? Uh, yes, sir. In the yeah. back line on my first row, first lane. Yep. Um, she'll give plus one health to. Oh wait. Sorry. I'll put the light okay. cavalry in light. the very front now. Of my first lane, and that's three, six, eight of my resources. Uh, yep. So, so I should be eight, eight left. Eight yep. Left. So let's get rid of these two, and you have eight left. Okay. Sorry. And she's then what orders do I have left? Plus one health to. Uh, she'll one? give it to the light cavalry in the front. Okay. Do that just to be safe. Four. You have left stare down. You have butt heads. I will Jinso's play blades, Stare Down. Stare Down. And play it on my light okay. cavalry on my front uh, first lane there versus the cavalry on his lane directly in front of. Unit you know, directly in front, they cannot mm. battle each other. Oh, okay. So pay three for that. And these two cannot battle each other. Correct. Mm -hmm. Now, his um, turn, he could move that over and just attack direct still, though, right? Because it's not battling these two. He could. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. What's the butt heads? Destroy a unit you control and destroy oh. a unit your opponent controls with the same resource cost. Oh, that's a big one. Same resource I got cost. You. Okay, um, what I'm going to do is have a united attack with my uh, first lane there. Mm -hmm. So a total of four damage mm -hmm. led by my cavalry. And since I cannot attack the cavalry directly in front of him i will hit the cavalry behind him oh that's clever okay so that kills this cavalry and knocks yep. you down to and two I take to the two. range is coming <laughs> and then that's interesting i didn't know you could do that so that that's a very clever play with that i like that and then i will do yeah. the butt heads and have my other light cavalry on the far right in my fourth lane there mm -hmm. i'll destroy him to destroy his veteran hay Oh, dang it! Mm -hmm. um, this is we're getting through a lot of uh, clever things now. Different things you can do, interesting things, right? So that's uh, yeah. I like, I like that. To this think is, so. This is. I mean, like you said, the game's probably sewn up now <laughs> with only five health, but we're yeah, a whole bunch no. of little things you can do. Uh, that will give people a good idea of what the game can do the more you progress and play through it. Right. That's all it is. Just the kind of theory crafting. Yeah. Um, all right, then we'll have my samurai father go ahead and attack okay. you directly for two. Down to 34. Watch out, you're getting close. And then I will retreat. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. Okay. No more resources. That's it. That's yeah. pretty good with 16 resources, though. <laughs> Back to player one. And then I'll just go for the direct attack and end the game. Just direct attack. Oh, right, because you've got nothing in front yeah. of you. You're blocking it. Direct attack yeah. hits for six, and it's game over. Yep.